Hi guys, Eway Solution Sunny here. Uh, today we're going to be doing some refining, and I uh, more viewers that I get, subscribers, and videos I make. I want to just take some time to talk about some safety, man. Uh, <clears throat> working with acids, uh, the salts it creates while dissolving metals in the fumes that it creates while processes and leachings are occurring are extremely toxic and deadly. You will kill yourself in the long run if you do not wear PPE, gloves, respirator, eye protection, the whole works. You'll destroy your property, your neighbor's stuff, cause harmful effects to the environment, to animals, children, drinking water, the whole nine. Just be smart. Uh, process and refine safely and responsibly. And let's get to it, man. Uh, what we got here today, EEPROM, Gold Lake, Gold Window, 8,000 series chips, I imagine. Two pounds of these. Um, very, very rare, very old, and very fun and exciting to do. Uh, come across these, luckily, through some friends and great guys I know, but we're going to go ahead and get this started, uh, I'm going to bust these up, get them prepped, and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so after busting these up, I have two different piles, both leaching, uh, the glass EEPROM gold lids and others are right there in a dilute poor man's nitric. Uh, the ones on the uh, left are the uh, ceramics themselves, also in a poor man's nitric. Uh, each vessel is has been started with 1,000 ml of uh, distilled water, 250 ml of uh, concentrated sulfuric acid, and 100 grams each of sodium nitrate. You see the reaction is quite vigorous. Um, the red fumes there, it's part of this PPE. Uh, let these things cook for a while and I'll be back. So after leaching uh, these ceramics and poor man's nitric, a total of two runs, um, I've created a uh, poor man's AR, <clears throat> poor man's AR with uh, hydrochloric acid and uh, some potassium nitrate this time. I uh, ran out of sodium nitrate, had to use the uh, available next best substitute. <laughs> um, I have the uh, the nitric leach um, filtering now. Um, we're gonna see. If there's going to be um, some silver in this, which I imagine there is, so we'll go ahead and uh, get a little bit of it, test it. If it does, uh, with some hydrochloric acid, if it does get cloudy, I will um, take that beaker and I'll get it warm again. Uh, not sure exactly about dropping it out with copper as there's sulfuric acid in there. Might have to make a few uh, questions and then... Uh, if it's not going to work, then I'll just put hydrochloric acid in there and drop it as a chloride and uh, save it with the other chlorides. Um, the lids are still actively, surprisingly and actively uh, dissolving down there. Really nice. Um, I feel there's a little bit left. There's not too, too much. Um, they are light. They, they fluff around. There's a lot of foils. There's a lot of foils in that beaker and in that uh, filter up there in the course funnel, but we will uh, come back when this is ready. So after the AR leach, gold is uh, in solution. I uh, see a few damn glass dyes on there that I don't like seeing. I'm going to have to go through that and uh, make sure pick out any pieces that may still have a silicon dye on it add it to my next batch I uh, 
rinsed the CPUs well, put, dumped them over ice. This is the AR with golden solution. Uh, the AR was around 800 mLs, so we've added 600 more mLs of uh, solution being water, distilled water. Um, anyway, I'm going to let this settle overnight, come back in the morning. Silver chloride that's present, if any, left, will settle down. Uh, the solution will be more clear. So, come back to this in the morning. We have uh, let this settle overnight. Now we are uh, filtering. Um, there was some precipitate in the bottom. Silver chloride. Uh, do our best to get that out from our drop. Filter this up. Be right back. So here you have it. Filtered solution. Very clean. Uh, it's a lot of solution. I've just about doubled it. Uh, actually, I have. Um, so I'm not going to use a lot of uh, water for my drop with the SMB. Give it some time to work. It's a lot of solution. Um, not sure what I expect for a yield, but it is uh, going to be pretty high. I'm hoping for at least 10 grams. Um, sliding doesn't do any justice. It's turning on the bottom already. Let me get my stir stick. Let's see if I can get a better angle for you guys can see. You can see that two tone right there. You can already see gold plating to the glass. I didn't clean it good enough. <clears throat> I need to set my lab up over here better. Get my fume hood working so I could do this in Zoras and out of the sun. But there it is. So it's been a few minutes and this gold literally dropped very, very fast. Um, I'm going to test it with Stannis, of course and uh, see if we still have any uh, gold in solution. Let me get a spoon and uh, some Stannis ready. All right, so uh, we have a little bit of solution and some Stannis. Excellent. So although the solution still looks yellow, our Stannis is, uh, lighting's not good. It looks like it may be dark, but There is a, a clear color. No false positive. There was a correct amount of SMB. <clears throat> so I, uh, I think there may be some more gold than I expected in here. Um, pretty happy with that. So let this settle. I'll come back and uh, clean up this powder and weigh it up. So here's the moment of truth. Um, dried into a nice block if you will um, tear it out to zeros let's see what we got from this holy shit 14.45 grams and to boot <clears throat> that's not including 50 of these uh, chips that I was uh, talked into selling to a member uh, but there you have it 14 and a half grams beautiful beautiful yield excellent chips the best that you'll ever do 
And here's the uh, result. It's noticed the bit of uh, borax on it and a little bit frosty on the top. Um, crucible's absolutely dirty. I need to get some more, but not too shabby. Ceramics. E Waste Solution Sunny. Out. And don't forget to subscribe, like. More videos shortly.